Cancer Tarot messages. So guess what? They are watching you. People from your past that you may stop may I stop talking to them because you were protecting yourself. They're all watching you online. First card is hermit, not hiding. This person may want to come out and speak to you. They're not hiding that they're watching you. So who is this hermit that is watching Cancer? Cancer love reading for today. Yeah, this is this is true love. This is true love. This is what the card says. Eight of cups, six of cups. Um, someone that is saying they're deeply in love with you, falling in love with you, feel a natural vibe with you. They feel like you're their soulmate. They feel like they naturally love you. Who is this person? Could be a Virgo. Yeah, this part, this card says kisses here, three of cups. This person wanting to celebrate with you. Who is this person? This person missing you. Who is this person though? Is it a new person or a past person? It could be a Taurus or a karmic ex. Yeah, it's giving ex energy. Five of that, five of wands, um, queen of wands, seven of swords, eight of swords, queen of pentacles. Yeah, this person they be, they betrayed you though with that Virgo hermit energy. There was like a third party situation with a masculine or with their friend or with their ex family. This this person they regret th what they've done. They wish that they could have been um good to you or whatever good for you this could be a father figure as well okay feelings new chemical formula hugs new fling yeah this person cheated a new idea so why are they here because they're here because they're they cheated on you and they're still watching you online yeah they've been friend zoned this card says sorry so maybe they're here because they want to say they're sorry okay but they've been blocked and they're watching you two of cups I don't know. This person may be thinking that they would like to be closer to you with this two of cups card. And they don't want to really see you with someone else. It's like they, they can't be with you but they're crying because they know you're going to move on with someone else. Like this is a person that's already with someone else. I know that they're not going to have you but they just dread you being with another person. And this could be like a friend or a family member that don't want you to be happy in love. But that's a hermit. Okay, soul ties. Yeah, someone feels just tied to you, connected to you. Signed soul contract. Um, coming together, mates feels right. Someone just feel like you and them belong together. Like, no doubt about it. Speak clarity, get to the point, truth. So this person they wanna come in with a confession, tell you the truth, cry, tell you what's on their heart. They're watching you though. They may have, they lied to you, and they took from you. Feeling nothing. They can't bear the fact that you are moving on. They feel nothing. They think you're feeling nothing for them. Without you, you know, I'm not having you. Um, it makes me sad. Done. I can't wait for a new beginning. Right? This person, they wish that they could have a new start with you. So that's what I'm getting. What else? Someone else is in love with you, though. Like, So let's see. Yeah, a new person is in love with you. Ten of diamonds. All right, for real, for real. Hope, reliance, light at the end of the tunnel, surely good feelings. Yeah, two of cups. There's a new person um, that is in love with you. I'm getting a friend enemy vibes. There's someone that is in love. They want to have you. They're watching you. They want to come in and claim you for themselves. They're not speaking to you currently, but they're watching you. This person could be watching you physically. All right, not just online. Right, let's see who this person is. A person that wants to be your person. Yeah, they wanna they wanna be your mate, the ten of diamonds. They wanna be your partner, the two of wands, the ten of diamonds and the two of wands and the two of cups and the five of cups. Like someone is saying that you are the one that they want. Five of diamonds. Someone is feeling like you are the one that's going to replace something in their life. Something or someone else in their life. You're gonna be beside them. Yeah, ace of diamonds, for real. Like this card says new twin flame i feel well new vision feeling well there's someone that is so sure about you um could be a capricorn i hear daddy so this card says happiness there's someone that is determined to have you with that page of swords card as well create a happy a happy life and love yes yeah, someone is watch i hear prognostics yes yeah, someone is watching you and they're bent on satisfying you being with you being in your life loving you okay they want to come up, come in, show up. 
Hey man, someone wants to come and snatch you. Okay, I don't know if you're hot on the market or if you... Because yeah, you look like you have a lot of people giving you eyes and seeing you as their... Like their right choice as the Empress energy or Emperor. Alright, so there's someone that feels like they have to move urgently to come claim you. Hard connection. Maybe start to live with you, have a family with you. The only one that takes your heart. This person wants you to love them. Yeah, two of diamonds. This person wants you to make love with them, as in work with them, intertwine with them, do great things together, building, sharing similar values, just make great moves. All right, a sign of value, decent values, fine mind, similar values, soulmate, a zing. They just work together, you know, feel good. Not luck, but a valuable connection. This is a blessing, a blessed connection here, okay? All right, this King of Cups is the one that loves you. So you may have multiple people there. Yeah, they send, they think of you. They send you telepathic messages. They they send you like these. This three cups energy says kisses. Yeah, this is like you're someone's um, mesmerized by you, or I hear doll. Um, you're someone's fantasy and all kind of things. You know, yeah, telepathic messages for real with the hangman. This is a person that is saying they're your person. Yeah, but just let's just someone betrayed another person with another with someone else though. Someone cheated. Someone is a cheater, I'm telling you. So a cheater cannot get you back. But they are watching you though. They wanna come in. Someone wants to come in, I don't know. Someone maybe from your past or a new admirer wants to come in and compliment you. And maybe that is what is happening and someone is really jealous. So your ex is or some people are from your past are still watching you that are seeing you get compliments or seeing you put your pictures up or seeing you self-loving and they just they're admiring it deeply but they still feel jealous or vexed all right that they some of them can't have you and they're also like attracting people that are like they kind of feel like they're in love with you but they're just they're very attracted to you but they can't really explain why I'm falling in love natural vibe that's you feel like their soulmate, you know, familiar feeling, naturally love you, deeply in love with you. Yeah, there's something of an ex or a third party situation. Three of swords says, no connection. I want to connect with you. Black, afraid, shy or hurt. Some One of those energies may be keeping someone apart from you. Maybe a decision, a disgruntled decision that they made that they feel like they cannot take back. Right, they crossed you or they crossed themselves. Let's what they wish they could create with you. Let's get creative. Let's get together. All right, let's make some magic. Let's um, let's get connected. All of these things. Let's um, yeah, yeah. The wheel of fortune. This person they want to tell you the good things. They want to reassure you. They want to make you know how valuable you are, how appreciative they are of your energy. They just want to pour that into you, um. Because they just want, that's like what they know you're worth. That's what you deserve. So someone wants to come around and give you what you are worth, what you deserve, okay? Yeah, it's a lot of blessings. I hear a surprise. So let's see, what, is there a surprise for cancer? Yeah, the Jack of Cups. All right, um, this card says, say something. So this could be what someone is going to say to you. That's going to be a surprise, unexpected. I want to, I long to, it is my hope, my wish to, to achieve you, is what this Jack of Cup is saying. So someone expressing love for you and what a desire to be with you in a new beginning, to have a, re a relationship with you, a committed connection with you, for you to be their significant other. It's you, you're going to find out it is you that someone wants. Maybe you can cook, maybe you're well-rounded, you're fantastic. Um, they've been waiting for you too. You're yeah, the Queen of Cups, right? You're everything that everyone that this person is wanting. This person may be born in July. The name may be with a J. They hang one. This person could have been in your life for a long time. Their eyes are full of stars of you. They daydream about you. Like you are the one that someone wants. They cannot stop thinking of you. They, whatever they did to hurt you or to not have chosen you in the past or whatever they, they regret it they wish that they could choose you um wish i wish i had you this four swords says 
I want your love. All right. Um, thoughts of you haunt me. Okay. That's what someone is feeling like. I cannot stop thinking about you. Who is this person? Like it's strong Virgo energy or someone that is just in love with you. Who can and someone that may be sorry, regretful, remorseful. Maybe someone betrayed you because they were loyal to another person over you. Okay, I know they wish that they, they want you. They could have you back in their life. All right, they wish that they could close some deals. Someone wishing that they did not juggle you. All right, someone sees you as like everything. They feel like they're missing out. I really love you, but I do not have what it takes to give all or all of my attention to this connection. Um, like they're juggling work or something now. That's the excuses that they made to you. Someone just did not give you their all. And you had to go like in, inspire yourself. In, put value within yourself. Like go off, find yourself, you know, core value energies. And now you're being chosen by greater love. This person is seeing how great of a loving person you are. You know, what you fully deserve. Someone's eyes are all over you. This nine of swords, hard not having you, is what it says. It's unbelievable for this person too. They At first, they felt determined that they're going to have you back. But now they're questioning if they believe in you, if they believe in themselves. Because they realize how much they disappointed you. Right? They betrayed you. And they want maybe some forgiveness. But I'm hearing something like no rest for the wicked, you know, because someone may have even been trying to block your money as well to prevent you from moving on. No physical connection. This person just don't like that at all, that there's no physical connection down the lines. There's no way to get to you. I feel your love. So they're constantly feeling your energy around them, pressing on them, but they can't get to you. Right? Connection down. Some of some of them are just someone just feeling discouraged or not feeling inspired enough, not feeling capable or willing or adequate enough to like express themselves so they feel trapped. There's something about weeds, maybe the bushes in your yard or something. And there's something about a clergyman. And then we have this Queen of Pentacles. This could be a family member, a baby mother, a mother, a a youth someone that got in the way in some way right another person that was in your relationship business okay look the three three listen that was the queen of pentacles earlier and now we pulled the two queens of the wands and queen of cups there were multiple people involved here multiple people multiple partners Someone could have been juggling all three, thought that you were an option, put you out, chose over you. This person did you foul, wrong decision. This is like someone made a terribly wrong decision. Okay? This is reminding me of the movie Wrong Turn. It's the worst decision to have made. That's what. That's how this person feel like. Wor the worst. Now they want to call you and have you back. Someone thought that you were like a, a fling or something like that, right? And they were, yeah, Ace of Wands, heart full of fire. They didn't take your love seriously. Be one with you, but they were, they felt pulled to you. Chemistry, more, it was more than chemistry, but they, they may have been reading it just as a physical connection. Have you? And they were also trying to like be more powerful than you. I'm um, trying to maintain power or something over you. Like, they don't want to show weakness over you or be too emotional or really express how they feel. So they were just trying to write it off as a strong, strong, intense physical connection that they can't really explain. So a new feeling to have something. Now this person is realizing it's more than that. Because they may have had that physical moment with something in, in another way. And they're realizing that they still, still are thinking about you. They still feel dissatisfied. And it's, so it's more than that for them. It's something else about you. All right, Knight of Cups. Here's yeah, someone showing up with love. This could be family member, or someone showing up with the truth, or someone showing up to talk to you. Nine of Cups. Right. Someone. There's something about a pregnancy or a confession. 
and um something may, someone may expect something to affect you negatively hurt your feelings but it is not it's going to backfire because you don't care you don't give up on yourself you know who you are you're moving toward your happiness and it may hurt someone more to to realize that you're not upset you're not offended okay so but they keep watching you and thinking that because they know they know how you think and feel they know how to like get you to respond or react to whatever message they want to come around to you with so check yourself yourself aware be bold cadet scholar militant focused sharp intuitive okay yeah there's new love on your way you know there's re like a person that really loves you for real ace of swords in real life sure prosperity um sober so that means it's here tangibly it's in reality welcome to a place of magic yeah this is a new beginning hopeful prosperity the energies i hope you will it, like go down this path and enjoy it to the best of your abilities hopeful expectations because there's a lot of good in it for you welcome in well-being both of you you and this new person you're gonna have good times together don't refuse it. Don't resist it. Whoa. Your last card is the Three of Swords. Alright. I'm not going to reveal it. It's the Three of Swords. Yeah. Some ex is sad that you're healing and moving on. You're being yourself. Loving yourself. You're being brave. You're speaking your truth. And they thought the grass was greener on the other side. They, they would like to tell you essentially, I love you. But they feel like you're just healing. You're healing and you're wonderful. So we'll probably have to do another reading for you. Because this reading was mainly about some past people. And then it's really also about you choosing yourself. Things working out in your favor. You being brave and being bold and becoming more aware of self. And when you find out this truth that someone deliberately wants to come maybe directly and say to you. In hopes that it may affect you. It may kind of hurt you for real. But you're not you're not gonna show, you're gonna reason it out, you're gonna allow it to make you stronger, you're gonna allow it to teach you about yourself so you become more aware of who you are, what you're capable of. It's gonna even be something that you suspected and it's a confirmation and you're okay. This could be you're gonna be not talking to some people because you're gonna find out that they betrayed you. That's some kind of truth that you're coming into. But in the midst of it, Most High is not letting you down because you're also going to get messages of love from real soul family. So while this confession is coming, there's also um, expression or relay of real love to you in your life so that you don't feel too broken or too sad. But you may feel redeemed. So I love you. Take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you. And I'm feeling like a lot of people that hurt you in relationships, family members or exes, they're getting some type of a karma for lying to you and cheating on you. Yeah, and taking your feelings for granted. So watch out for your blessings. Let's see. Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Page of Wands, Page of Swords, King of Cups. Let's see what is your... What is your wheel of fortune for today? Something you're going to be making or drinking or inspiring, fueling, self-worth. Like I say, it's your, your time. You're going to be at a table being laid, made for you, right? You, some, they're going to see that you are worthy, you are loving. Someone is choosing you, highlighting you, giving you all, of atten all the attention in the world. And it's not because of vanity. It's because you're real. So if you feel or felt like delays were in your life of your love energies, your prayers are going to be answered more than what it is that you were asking for, like better than expected. Look, soulmate wound up, wound up on the bottom of the deck. So be glad. A lot of love and happiness moving through to you. So we have Virgo, we have Taurus, we have Cancer, Pisces, um, a little earth sign energies and some air signs as well. Take it easy out there. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Your support is abundantly appreciated. Have a beautiful rest of day and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Much love.